So today we're going to be working on our throwback street, which for those who don't know is basically six tiny homes on one lot, all inspired by different Disney and Nickelodeon characters. So previously we've done Hannah Montana, where we first designed her and Cass with all the iconic looks, and then we built her tiny home. And then this episode, we will be working on That's So Raven. If you're just joining us, don't worry, I will jump into Sims and show you what we've been working on, but I'm very excited, so let's get started. So here we are on Throwback Street, which definitely looks a little crazy right now, I do admit. It definitely has a lot of progress still to go. Looks very empty and we need to go in with a lot of details and landscaping. We'll probably do an entire episode dedicated to this communal space in the middle as well. And these random brown patches are actually going to be the lots, so the tiny homes still to come. We'll probably do That's So Ravens over here so that her and Hannah Montana can be neighbors, which I think is really sweet. And here is Hannah's condo. So this is what we've been working on over the past couple of weeks. None of the builds will be exact replicas of any of their homes, but we've had a few reference pictures and we'll just take inspiration from it. I think this is a combination of her house in season one and then I think she moved to it another one in the last season, but it's just a combination of everything. So we have the music room, obviously, as you walk in, and then a very cluttered kitchen here on the left. And then this cozy little lounge here with a TV, some gallery artwork. This is Hannah right here. There you go, there she is from the front, that's Hannah. And the bathroom, I don't think we had any reference pictures, but the best room is this iconic bedroom. So this is taken from that bedroom that she moved in with Lily in the last season. Obviously we only have one bed in here and then on this side we have the iconic wardrobe which we can't unfortunately do an exact replica of but we tried our best. And then on this side we have a little vanity with a jukebox and a seating area. So that is Hannah Montana's condo and then over the next couple of weeks we will be working on That's So Ravens who will live right here. It's not actually a lot of space so it's just gonna be a fairly small tiny home but in this episode we will be heading over into Cass, creating That's a Raven herself, and then next episode we will get started with her tiny home. So yeah, let's jump over into Cass. So here we go with Raven Baxter. This is just a randomized sim. We haven't done anything to her yet, but I'm laughing because I've gone ahead and done the traits and Look at what happens when we do genius. If you haven't seen that Sir Raven, you won't know why that's funny, but basically she has psychic visions and she can she sees future events. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but basically she has these visions and they just come to her and she kind of like stares into the camera when she's having them. And this is what she does. <laughs> And the other traits we've given her are cheerful and clumsy. Two words that definitely describe her in the TV show. And I would say her main aspiration is friend of the world who wants to have as many friends as they can. I would say that definitely fits her character from the TV show. That was the closest one that I could find at least. You know what? She would actually wear a hat like this but we are not gonna go with a hat for her. For, we'll, we'll do multiple looks for her, but not for her main look. So let me make her bald and give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna go work on a few features. I have some reference pictures. I'm kind of nervous because I'm so bad at cast and this is definitely not gonna come out how I envision it. We'll try our best. So here, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to show you already because I don't think it's good. But this is my version of Raven Baxter in The Sims. Um, we've done the makeup already. She's wearing a lot of icy pink gloss, which is really funny in all of the pictures. And purplish eyeshadow, very thin eyebrows, which I guess is indicative of the times. And I would say she has quite a round face, a square jaw, high cheekbones. So I've gone with those kinds of features. But anyway, let's quickly move on and go to, actually let's go to earrings quickly because it looks like she's wearing some small hoops. So we'll go with those. And then for hair, I guess it depends on the first look that we're gonna do. And I have one here that I wanna try to recreate with a purple denim jacket and purple flares. And she's got little space buns. I have a bunch of different space buns, um, custom content. So let me, is this space buns? No, but that is cute. But let me pull out a few that I think are the most accurate then. Okay, so we have two options. Either these space buns here, which she doesn't really have two hair, two strands either side of her face. So 
that's not that accurate. Or these. But the problem with these is they're very high up on her head. I think it's better these on the sides. Yeah, we're gonna do these. And then for her outfit, I need to find purple flares. Oh wait, oh my God, that's... That's the, okay, it's it's supposed to be denim, not leather, but I think let's shortlist by purple and let's find purple flares first. Okay, we have these. These are cute actually because the belt is very vintage or like 90s, early 2000s. We have these ones. Now these are custom content. They look very cool. I think these win. So let's go into purple tops now and try to find a purple denim jacket, but more with a black top top underneath. This is the right combination of black top purple jacket, but it's a puffer instead of a denim jacket, which I don't think is quite the right vibe. Okay, this is another option. I love how this looks and actually the colors match better, but it looks too fancy, I think. She was much more casual. Let's just go with this look. And then she's wearing black boots just any black boots or maybe they're sneakers. And that is Raven Baxter look number one. Now over to formal, I have a look that I, is not actually that formal, but like Hannah Montana, we're kind of ignoring that. I'm only going with this look because I found an almost identical top in when I was looking through the purple jackets. And it is this one right here, which is so accurate with the jacket. The top underneath is a little different. She's wearing a pink top. I don't know what trouser she's wearing. She could be wearing a long denim skirt. So we'll go with it. We'll go, we'll look for a denim skirt here, but the hair is a little different. It's kind of in buns with some kind of floral arrangement. Okay, we're gonna go with this, which kind of looks like she's had her hair braided to a piece at the back. And then I would love to do some decoration back here. I don't know if it's gonna work. Sometimes they just clip like that. Definitely does not work. Perfect. If we can get that in a pinky color, yes. So let's keep that. Earrings, she has similar earrings on, so we'll leave those. And then for skirt, I want a dark denim. Maybe it has to match this. Long denim skirt. Okay, we have two options. We have this one from University, which I think matches super well, or a slightly long longer one from Eco Lifestyle, which doesn't, I mean, it still matches, but it's probably the, the better length. I can't decide which one I prefer. I think I prefer that one. It looks nicer. And then I have no idea what shoe she's wearing, unfortunately, but I think I'm gonna go, she used to wear, platform shoes so or and, and and also heels so we could do something like these something like these could be fun or these maybe these are better i feel like a slightly lower boot yeah let's go with these and then let's get some tights maybe a little bit lighter there you go. We'll get some tights on there. Okay, now I've added on her makeup and she is done. That one, definitely more like a nine out of 10, I think. Better than the first one. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Okay, time to go and find her a party wear outfit. So let me look, go look for another inspiration picture. All right, I found our next inspiration picture because it resembles these trousers from, I think that's Parenthood. So much, we have to do this look. I can't decide what color swatch to do though, whether we do a bright blue like this or her jeans look a little faded. So it's either more like this or this, maybe this one's better. And then we need a matching denim jacket. I mean, something like this, not quite the same because obviously she's not wearing a top underneath it, but a matching denim on denim look. Before I find denim actually, I wanna get these white boots. She has on, they're, hang on, they're in the boot section and colors, they're either white or they're light blue. And they're super pointy. These ones, perfect. These are good. Let's go with these ones. It's a lot of denim jackets. Is this denim jackets in every single look? It almost is. Wow. I think we're gonna have to go with this jacket again. The second time that we're using this jacket, it's the best that we have where we can get double denim to kind of match. Even this doesn't really even match. Hairstyle, I would say it's pretty accurate. And I think overall, I'm happy now with how this outfit looks. Feels very early 2000s. I do love the double denim. 
and the accessories definitely pull it together. So that is it, friends. That is, that's Sir Raven, our character for the second tiny home. Neighbors to Hannah Montana here. This is Hannah Montana's everyday look. <laughs> and this is That's Sir Raven. So stay tuned for next episode where we will be moving in Raven into her tiny home. We'll probably do two episodes, one for the exterior, and then we'll get into the tiny home. Actually, it depends how big it is. Maybe we can do it in one episode, but yes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.